I'm Treasurer State Dennis Milligan, and today we're reading Rock, Brock, and the Saving Shock by Sheila Bear. This is the tale of Rock and Brock, twins as different as ball and block. Rock ate good food. Brock gobbled junk. Rock liked to bathe. Brock kind of stunk. Rock studied hard. Brock watched TV. Rock rose at dawn. Brock slept till three. Rock was nearly a perfect guy, but there's a thing he loved to buy. His brother Brock lived like a slob, but saved his money by the gob. One day their gramps, a kindly man, proposed to them a savings plan. For 10 straight weeks each Saturday, I'll give you each one dollar's pay to mow my lawn and wash my car. These simple chores that will get you so far because I'll do a little trick. Each buck you save, I'll match it quick. Spend it, there's no extra dough. So save your cash and watch it grow. The Gramps paid out, true to his word. One buck to each, and here's what occurred. Brock saved his, but Rock's mind was stuck on what he could buy with his crisp new buck. Right away, he ran to the mall and bought a new moose head for his wall. The next week, Gramps gave out more bread, one dollar each, just like he said. Rock had one, Brock had two. Brock saved his dough, Rock wanted two, but couldn't resist the urge to buy a giant wind-up tsetse fly. The third week, Gramps paid out some more. He matched Brock's two, Bills up to four. Rock got one cause he had no savings and he still gave up into spending cravings. After all, what can a guy do with half price off on green hair goo? On week four, Brock's dough redoubled. Four to eight, Rock was befuddled. Rock got one buck, which he promptly spent on wax fangs tasting like peppermint. The next week Brock was tempted to buy an awesome toy he wanted to try. A rocket ship with a pop-off hatch, but if he bought it, he'd lose his match. He stopped himself when he reached the store, and so Gramps paid him eight bucks more. With nada for savings, Rock got just one. He bought some broccoli flavored gum. Gramps paid out from summer to fall. While Brock saved his, Rock spent all. He found toys for a dime at a yard sale. A car with three wheels, a polka dot snail. He bought such bargains with his cash, clown ears, fruit hat, a big mustache. Soon Rock, the neater of the boys, found himself waist deep in toys. But Brock's cash grew and grew and grew, eight, then sixteen, then thirty-two. His pile of bucks became so great, he had to store them in a crate. Ten weeks went by, poor Rock was doomed. He had no cash, Brock's had ballooned. With matching dollars at the end, Brock had 512 to spend. Brock used his cash to buy nice things, a telescope to see Saturn's rings, a book for mom, a shirt for dad, for Gramps a robe of tartan plaid. With 50 bucks left, what did Brock do? He opened a bank account for two. A joint account for him and his bro. A place to keep their hard-earned dough. Cause Brock ate junk and hated his bath, but one thing he knew, he knew his math. He saved his money like a miser, and of the twins, he proved the wiser. By seeing Brock's humongous take, Brock finally realized his mistake. From that day on, he saved his loot and gave up on his spending toot. 
The twins stashed bucks in their account. For years and years, they watched them mount. By the time both had gray hair, they found out they were millionaires.